Okay, so we just want to say first off, thank you to those of you all who have purchased one of our Wingman out, uh, cooler outriggers. This is just an explanatory video of how to uh, put this on your boat and uh, the best ways uh, to, to use it. So here, uh, here's the frame all in one piece. It'll show up in three pieces. I'll show you the telescoping feature in a second, which it'll show up in this main center piece and these two outer pieces. So a lot of times I'll put this on the boat in the water, which is probably as easy as anything. Sometimes I'm putting it on on shore. I'll, I'll use these foam pads under the boat. A paddle works, or oftentimes I just will lift the boat to run the straps under, and that's, that's pretty simple as well. So while the frame is assembled, we, we put the straps on like this just for storage and removing the straps. It's just a simple stainless steel ratchet strap. So as you can see, these are just simple loop straps here. I like to turn them so that the loop is right on the outside of the frame there, just like so. So when it pulls tight on the boat, you're using all of your strap. The strap can be slid on the frame, and this is to adjust to the different widths of the boat. Okay, now when setting it on the boat, pretty, pretty simple. Put your straps outside of the boat, and then you just want to get it centered across your boat so that you have the same amount of platform on either side. Once you have that centered, You want to slide your strap up against the side of the boat like that. You do not want a gap like this. So by moving it up against the side of the boat, you're, you're guaranteed to keep it secured to the boat properly. Okay, once the frame is centered on the boat, you want to take the strap and go under the boat. And I like to keep the strap straight just to keep from having it rolled up under the boat. Okay, now that the strap is under the boat, we want to take your ratchet strap. We want to put the strap through the ratchet, like so, and then back through again. And then you want to pull the strap tight, make sure it's straight under the boat, and once you have it snug, at that point, you can start to crank it down. Notice how we have the strap against the gunnel of the boat. I'll usually, when I put the front one on, or the first one, I won't tighten it down all the way until we get the back strap put on. Okay, now that I've, run, I've got the front strap on and, and partially tightened, I'll run the back strap under the boat and repeat the same process with the back ratchet. Okay, we have both straps hooked up now. Remember, once again, we have the strap all, way, all the way against the gunnel of the boat to keep it from shifting. Now that both straps are, are moderately tight, we have the pad here to protect the boat from the buckle. You can then, at that point, crank it down really to as tight as you want to. I generally get it to where it's pretty tough to snap. Back on the front strap now. Gonna tighten it down all the way. A lot of times I'll take this slack line and just kind of tuck it in behind here somewhere. Now that the frame is mounted to the boat, all you have to do is drop the coolers in. Notice the drain plug on the cooler, so you'll want to insert this side of the cooler into the frame first. Like that. Drop the cooler in. The handles will latch in by putting your palms on the handle, your fingers under the frame, and popping it in like that. Same with the removal. Palms down, pull out. When pulling the cooler out, you have to remember once again to watch out for your drain plug. We also will provide rubber stops that you can put in place of these caps in the event you were to lose this or just choose not to use these. Okay, you'll notice that again, these outer pieces are, are telescoping from the inner frame. By using these buttons here, both sides push in the buttons pull out on the frame and there's your 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 setting 
for uh, more stability on your float if you choose to expand the frame. Okay, if you do choose to use the extended frame version with it popped out like this, uh, we, we're offering, we'll be offering these uh, extended platforms. Uh, this makes it really nice, again, for extra stability, more deck space for your pets, kids, or standing up and fishing off of. Uh, these accessories will just drop right over the buttons and pop into place just like that. Okay, now removal of the frame is pretty simple. Pushing up on the button on your ratchet. Opening it all the way up. And your straps come off just like that. Okay, now that the frame and everything is on the boat, you're ready to go. So we hope that this video here is, uh, gives you a pretty good explanation of how this functions and how to put it onto the boat. Uh, go to our website, www.wingmanoutfitter.com. Our emails are on there. Shoot us an email. If you have any other questions, we, we'd love to answer them. Um, again, thank you for purchasing our, our cooler outriggers. And if you haven't, 